Hello everyone, welcome to Aesthetic Food Tech. So in this video, I am going to discuss about chemical properties of lipids. So let us begin with an introduction. Fats are composed of fatty acids, right? So there are certain essential components that defines this fatty acid and they are first one hydrocarbon chain, second one saturated or unsaturated nature. Saturated means the presence of single bond and unsaturated means the presence of double bond. Third one is the presence of carboxylic acid. So when we discuss about the chemical property of a substance, its chemical property mainly depends upon the active group that is present in that particular substance. And when we discuss about lipids, it is the carboxyl group that present in the lipid determines its chemical property or chemical property of lipids depends upon the carboxyl group that is present in it. So now let us discuss about the chemical properties of lipids. Some of the chemical properties include hydrolysis, saponification at iron value, hydrogenation, prinsity and ester formation. First property is hydrolysis. Hydrolysis is the process by which covalent bond in a molecule is broken down by the addition of water. Usually fats undergo hydrolysis by the following, first one by superheated steam, second one by acids or alkalis, third one by specific fat spreading enzymes such as lipases. As a result of hydrolysis, lipids got converted to fatty acids and glycerol. See this figure of fat hydrolysis. From this you can clearly see the formation of glycerol and fatty acids when fats are hydrolyzed. Next property, saponification value and iodine value. First of all, let us discuss about saponification value. Saponification value is the number of milligrams of potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide required to saponify 1 gram of fat under specified condition. When fats react with the strong alkali such as KOH or NaOH, it results in the formation of glycerol and a fatty acid salt called the SOAP. SOAP formed is precipitated using NaCl, that is, fat plus NaOH or KOH gives glycerol plus SOAP. So here I have given saponification process here so you can clearly see the reaction and understand the results. So next topic is iodine value. Iodine value in chemistry is the mass of iodine in grams that is consumed by 100 grams of a chemical substance. In the case of fats, iodine value is used to determine the amount of unsaturation in fatty acid. Higher the iodine value, more the number of carbon-carbon double bond that is present in the fat, which mean that the fat is more unsaturated. Next property is hydrogenation. Hydrogenation is a chemical process that adds hydrogen to fat containing unsaturated fatty acids. This is to make the fat more saturated. Hydrogenation will reduce the number of unsaturated fatty acids in fat and increase the number of saturated fatty acids in fat. The objective of hydrogenation is to reduce degree of unsaturation of fats and to increase the melting point of fats. Hydrogenation also changes nutritional properties of fats and sufficient hydrogenation makes fats solid at room temperature. I have done a detailed video about hydrogenation in my channel. Link will be given in the description. Next property is rancidity. Rancidity is the chemical decomposition that occurs in fats and oils during storage. Usually unsaturated fats undergo rancidity. It results in the formation of unpleasant and noxious odor. Usually Rancidity occurs due to the oxidative and hydrolytic nature of fats or lipids. There are mainly three types of rancidity, oxidative rancidity, hydrolytic rancidity and microbial rancidity. In my channel, I have uploaded a detailed video about rancidity. Links will be given in the description. Next property is ester formation. When fatty acids combine with alcohol, it results in the formation of ester. Formation of lipids or fats is such an esterific reaction. When fatty acids combine with glycerol, fats are produced and when fatty acids combine with alcohol other than glycerol, waxes are produced. That is, fatty acids plus glycerol gives lipids and fatty acids plus alcohol other than glycerol gives waxes. So this is the picture for esterific reaction or ester formation. So that's all. Thank you for watching. Till then, bye.